Tableau Desktop is a data visualization application that lets people analyze virtually any type of structured data and produce highly interactive, beautiful graphs, dashboards, and reports just in minutes. So it's very easy to start using Tableau. So all you have to do is point it to the data source that you have, and then wonderful charts coming up. And there are really cool features in Tableau which will help you build your dashboards and, and reports at a very good uh, rate pace. So again, using Tableau, we can build and interact with the views of data. You know, so the, the, the views can be, you know, interacted with in terms of uh, trying to filter something out or sort the data and create these drill downs and drill ups, create calculated fields, and uh, group the data, summarize it, and all those things can be done very easily using Tableau and build functions. So Tableau Desktop, in to summarize it helps us create wonderful visualizations and interactive dashboards at a relatively uh, fast pace, provide those insights to the business so that they can make uh, well-informed decisions about the business. So let's just go a little further into Tableau Desktop. You know? So uh, how does a Tableau Desktop interface look now? So the Tableau Desktop interface is something similar to this, what we're seeing here in the slide. So we have we have a different windows uh, for the dimensions and the measures and the data window over here. And then we have these called the shelves, so the field shelves, the page shelf, and the marks cards. And this part of the worksheet is very important, which is the rows and the columns. So again, um, just to for our information, Tableau Tableau Desktop interface is pretty. You can almost relate it to um, at a high level with the tab Microsoft Excel kind of um, setup. And also, you have Microsoft Excel workbook, and then similarly, the whole thing over here is called the Tableau workbook. And then you have something called a worksheet in Tableau, which is a tab over here. And you can relate it to the Excel worksheet. You no, know? so you have one Excel workbook, and you have multiple work Excel worksheets within that workbook. So it's a similar kind of a thing with Tableau. So you can relate to that as a Tableau workbook, and then which has multiple Tableau worksheets within that. So the worksheet is where actually the work happens. You know, this is where a developer would go ahead and then create all the views and reports. So this part is called a view. So this is basically what um, is drawn by Tableau based on what we drag into the columns and what we drag into the rows. OK, so this is basically the Tableau interface. We will Let's now go ahead and look at the Tableau interface. So let's bring Tableau up. Okay, so this is how it looks. So in the, in the slide, we saw how a Tableau, what the Tableau interface looks like. So even before that, actually, the one of the most important things in Tableau is connecting to data. You know, everything is fine, but then for how do we connect to data in the first place? So it is pretty simple. Well, when you bring up Tableau, you have this part section over here which says connect to data. So that is the first thing that you will have to do to do any kind of reporting or visualization using Tableau. So, and one more thing that you might notice here that you have something called the saved data sources. So these saved data sources come along with the Tableau desktop installation. Do not have any data with you. Um, to get started, you can actually use this Tableau's sample data sources. So let's go ahead and click on this connect to data. Okay, so now you see that Tableau provides us various options, you know, native connections to a lot of different databases and, and data sources. You now you have right from flat files over here to the relational database, SQL, MySQL, and then you have NetEdza, and you even have Greenplum, and then you have Teradata, and it also provides connectivity to Amazon Redshift and Microsoft SSAS, and then even to the Hadoop, you know, the big data. 
So there, there's a lot of uh, connectivity which Tableau provides. And then if you have any data source that is not listed over here, you can actually go ahead and build your ODBC and then use this uh, section over here to actually go and connect to the database. So let's use the Tableau sample data sources that have been provided to us by Tableau. Um, so again, we can choose to go ahead and click over here, and directly use the data source, or you can, we can actually go ahead and click this section over here, which I'm going to do now, Microsoft Excel. So it's going to open this um, a window over here, and then it tells me where it's exactly is my are my sample data sources stored, you know, which is in document, my documents, my Tableau repository, and then you have it in the data sources. So let, let's go ahead and connect to the sample uh, superstore subset. Okay, so what we see here is that it is, it is connected to a data source, uh, an Excel data source called the sample superstore subset. Again, um, if you see uh, below, you know, it has got three tables within that Excel workbook, that which actually these are actually three different worksheets within the Excel workbook. So each of that is considered as a table over here. And then it, is, it gives us three different options. You know, one which says a single table, the, one, the other one says multiple tables, and the other one is custom SQL. So, so these are different ways of connecting to the, da to the database. In this case, it's an Excel. Um, and, and I'm going to use now uh, the single table and go ahead and create, connect to this, you know, the orders. And just... Yeah, since it's Excel, you know, we're just telling it that the first row has field names in it, and then it gives you an option to actually go ahead and change the name of the data source. And again, uh, the next uh, dialog box over here, and you know, it gives us uh, three options. You know, when one that says connect live, the other one says import all data, the other one says import some data. So what these, how these things matter, you know, the connect live is actually well, what, the, what that means is, you know, whenever we are using this connect live option, connected to the database all the time, and then any time there is any diff any change in the data underlying database, just a refresh on, on our data tablet desktop would bring those changes in. And uh, when we have it on the server, any change, uh, when we have already published this uh, dashboard on, uh, report on the server, any change in the underl underlying database, would be reflected in the report. And importing all data, is, what that means is Tableau is going to bring all the data inside locally and then connect to that instead of connecting live to the database. So these options are used in uh, various different scenarios, you know, so, so now what I'm going to do is just connect live, then this is what the Tableau desktop environment looks like, interface looks like. So uh, we, we, what we're going to do is, since, um, since we're going to talk more about uh, the server and the, in these sessions, uh, quickly a uh, dashboard, and then we're going to, we, we are going to then uh, have it published onto the server um, and see all the interactions that we can do through the server and then all the administrative activities, you know. So I'm just going to quickly uh, build a dashboard over here, quick, quickly build a couple of uh, them together in a dashboard and then we'll go for from there. So I'm going to take product. If, if I consider that I want to see the sales um, by product category, you know, so I'm just going to click on this, and then I'm going to click on, con hold the control key and click on the sales. And you see automatically on the right side, the show me uh, window over here, it shows what, what all different types of charts that I can build over here. So now it's, and it, it's highlighting the, the bar chart, the horizontal bar chart for me, which it suggests that it's the best option for the um, dimension of the measures that I've selected. So, okay, I just click on it and then it creates a, um, that's, it creates a view for me and then I'm gonna just do a, a sort it by sales and then I'm gonna color it by profit. So sales product category. And Tableau also provides very good mapping options so I can just double click on this and get the information over here. So now and then I can drag the sales and the size. Just increase the size a little bit. And I'm gonna again 
color it by for the priority. Change the map option. Okay, so I have these two different views, and then we just quickly put this together into a dashboard. So this is a dashboard. So I just track it here. So let me call this the sales dashboard. Now we have the dashboard here. Okay, so this is a very simple, simple dashboard. Let me name this name. Let me call it something like a sales workbook. You know. So this is for the uh, when you save the file, the Tableau file, the workbook. It actually saves as a .tw.b file, um, which is nothing but the Tableau workbook. So let me go ahead and save this. So now that I've created a dashboard, a very simple dashboard, just for illustration purpose, probably doesn't make too much of uh, uh, sense uh, in terms of what visualization I've put together here. But then it's just to illustrate uh, the the uh, the feature of Tableau where you can I can just quickly go ahead and uh, grab a couple of dimensions, the measures, and and create a, a dashboard. Um, and then now what? And also now I've created this beautiful dashboard. And then. How, where do I, where do we go from here? Now, how do we make this uh, available for the business users for consume for consumption? So that is when the server comes into picture. So that is where you know we see here on the here on the menu which says the server menu. So now it says publish workbook. Okay. So this is where the server comes into picture, and we need to have a server ready, installed, and set up before we can actually go ahead and publish this workbook onto the server. So let's just go back to the slides that we had. Okay, so this was the tablet interface that we spoke about and then the slide just talks about the different um, the different uh, um, sections in the Tableau interface, the desktop basically, and then this is how um, we can connect to data. This is another way of connecting to data. And most of the things in Tableau desktop, you know, there are multiple ways of doing the same thing. You know? So this is another way. Of connecting to data and this is what we did and so we came here and then we selected the Microsoft Excel um, and then we connected to the database sample uh, sub store data and then again uh, this is just an explanation about uh, what connecting live means and then what the import option means so um, as we just discussed earlier you know uh, connection connecting live is actually uh, Tableau runs the sends a dynamic SQL or an MDX query directly to the underlying database and then gets the data as and when uh, we run the we, we access the report. So uh, there is th different scenarios when you would actually go for this. You know, the one of the scenarios would be as um, I had mentioned earlier that the business user wants live data uh, in the reports. You know, so as and when there is a change happening in the underlying database, you know, they would want the report to be refreshed with the new data. So that's when you would go for this. And also, not just that, you, know, you would also want to go and understand whether your your uh, whole infrastructure architecture supports this live connection you know, because you might have database sitting in some uh, remote server somewhere else and then you have your Tableau server on some other hardware and then uh, you, the user might be accessing it from some other part of the world so you know all you we have to make sure that all our network um, uh, we do not really have any network issues and we have good uh, well performing network so that the connect live is actually working fine um, so these are some other considerations that you might have to uh, take uh, think of okay and the second one was the other option it gave us was to import everything so this import all is nothing but um, tableau if tableau runs this query and then gets all the data and then puts it locally in a file called tableau data extract okay and then connects to this tableau data extract instead of connecting live to the database so this is again you could have actually go for this option whenever uh, you have you, you are aware that the business is not going to need the underlying data 
um, as and when it refreshes to be reflected in the dashboard. Or when you know that you are building your report on a EDW, which is getting refreshed only once in a week. You know, so you can actually then schedule a weekly refresh uh, and then make sure um, that the refresh runs whenever there is a refresh on the in the EDW in your EDW so that you are having even if you're working off an extract you're still having the most recent data which is there in the EDW. So that way it makes it faster. So the advantage of going for this is that the Tableau um, renders reports faster when working off uh, Tableau data extract file as opposed to connecting live to the database. So the, the, those are the two different um, scenarios and of connecting to database.